My name is Lawrence Hasselbank. I uh, did uh, the Master in International Management at the Tilburg University. So I work at uh, PwC as a deals trainee, and I'm currently in the financial due diligence department where we help our clients with their investments. So we specifically look at our uh, networking capital uh, positions, uh, debt positions, um, uh, also uh, the sustainable level of earning capacity find out what's really driving a company's business, how they're making their money, what is the real debt position, and what's the normalized level of uh, working capital. It's a very dynamic uh, environment. Uh, at, at all of a sudden, you can uh, be very busy and uh, make a lot of hours on a certain deal. Uh, the deals uh, vary in complex complexity. For instance, you can have deals with very large companies where you have to analyze uh, all different items of uh, a company that has two billion in revenues or maybe more. Or sometimes you're working on a company that has eight million in revenues and it's less complex, but you can go further into that and get to know a company a lot better. <laughs> no, I don't think I'm the one that closes million dollar deals, that uh, our clients do that, but we help them in closing million dollar deals. So as a deal trainee, you'll uh, rotate through different departments. So as I uh, said before, I'm now in the financial due diligence department, but I'll also be rotating to the valuations, corporate finance, and delivering deal value uh, departments. Yeah, so generally when you come in uh, about 8 o'clock or 8.30, you uh, uh, discuss with your manager or with your director what are the most important tasks for the day. Uh, and then you usually do some analysis or do some uh, reading on a, a company or a project. And uh, yeah, you perform your analysis and discuss with your manager or director uh, whether it's heading in the right direction. What we also do quite a lot is discuss with the target management whether uh, when we have any questions regarding certain items. Uh, we also talk to clients a lot to make sure that they're in the loop and whether they uh, like the progress that is going on in the project. Favorite part of the job is when you finish an analysis and adopt a few or a conclusion and you see that your managers or directors agree with you and this few will also be communicated with the client. That is some validation for the work that you did. Um, uh, what also happens quite a lot is that we have some social activities. Uh, I've been to uh, Vienna and London to uh, compete with football uh, teams from uh, all over the world, also from PwC. So there are quite some, yeah, a lot of activities that you can do besides working. Okay, so uh, the deal I've worked on uh, most recently was uh, yeah, a company that was uh, being a Dutch company that's being sold to an English party, and they would like uh, to know how the Dutch market looked and how uh, the company realized their growth. And uh, it was a nice uh, company to work on because they have been through a lot of growth, and a lot of growth usually has a high selling price involved with it. But it's uh, nice to see that our analysis helped determine that the growth was not very sustainable. So our yeah, client has yeah, some, uh, some tools to, in the negotiation uh, which can help them reduce the price or have some other uh, guarantees involved in it. Yeah, what was very valuable to me as a student was uh, getting to know people from different backgrounds uh, with different interests, but still being able to connect with them. And I think going through uh, further in your career, it's uh, very important that you uh, take on or uh, take this personality or characteristic with you. Uh, I think one very uh, important skill is uh, having a, a critical view on things that are presented to you. So even if it's an audited uh, uh, annual account of a company, you still look at it with uh, enough scrutiny to determine is this really what it represents and should I do some further analysis or look further into it to find out what I'm uh, looking for. So it's not accepting what's presented to you, but rather making your own efforts to see whether it's correct. The funny thing is that I found this job or this uh, opening on uh, Facebook and uh, yeah, I saw an advertisement for the deals traineeship and they had a nice video telling about the different uh, departments you'll be working in and the big deals you'll be working on and that really uh, attracted me so I uh, applied and got uh, through the motion so you had a first uh, conversation with HR and later on you talk to a partner and do a business course where you yeah, actually compete with other students for the position and it was really uh, yeah, it was a nice process. <laughs> I don't know uh, how many people uh, apply to it, I guess it'll be uh, quite a few 
but uh, I think just being myself uh, helped me. I, I like talking to people, uh, having uh, yeah, not a very uh, strict view, like this should be this way or I think it should go that way, but more open to other people's views. And I think that really helps, uh, especially regarding the amount of teamwork uh, we do. Um, I did quite some uh, internships. It helps you gain a lot of uh, yeah, practical experience, but it also helps you uh, appreciate what's valued in the, in a business environment. And uh, for instance, uh, yeah, the way you approach people or uh, talk to clients. I think uh, I'd, I'd had some experience in that before actually starting my first job. Well, I think things that would really help you increase chances on the job market uh, are uh, like being really assertive, uh, take uh, your, your destination into your own hands. So uh, do a lot of job interviews, uh, apply, have a lot of applications, and it will also get you feedback on uh, yeah, how you can proceed in your next applications. Um, uh, what's very interesting for me is that uh, I was applying for certain companies who had the same uh, recruitment office so you contact the recruitment office and ask them what they're looking for so it's yeah being really assertive and also yeah not to be afraid to put in the amount of work that it uh, takes because you never know where an opportunity arises you can only uh, uh, increase the chance of meeting that opportunity and that's by meeting new people so.